What is up, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. For the first time in a long time, today we're talking about people actually being scared about the future of Twitch and can it make it in this industry. This has been a long coming topic, but today, finally, people and streamers are actually showing that, okay, um, Twitch is not in the best of states. We have known this for quite some time. They are spending exorbitant amounts of money and maybe not making enough money back as some of the drama with the ads and incentives on their platform has alluded to, but breaking news brought to us by Cecilia, a great journalist over at Bloomberg as of yesterday and confirmed this morning is Twitch laying off more people and not just more people, a substantial amount of employees from Twitch have now officially confirmed by Dan Clancy been given their notice today that being 500 twitch employees being sent home obviously uh, a super sad moment best of luck to all of these people finding jobs in the future something we have said throughout the industry and throughout the past entire year layoffs left and right especially in the tech industry but 500 twitch employees being sent home approximately 35 percent of what is left of the company that is no small layoff that is no small sign of trouble inside of twitch and for the first time i'm i'm just sitting back and i don't know if you guys have had these thoughts too of like whoa this is actually really bad and to esports and gaming specifically though it's unfortunately again something we have seen time and time again just about every esports organization and team have gone through a round if not a couple rounds of layoffs notable ones being 100 thieves and phase clan two of your biggest but we also have big corporations like epic games doing a a giant round of layoffs despite what seemed to be a good year it is a sign of the times what we're calling esports winner but the tech industry also being hit by this and again I just 35% of remaining employees, it makes you wonder who is left and what the future plans of Twitch are going to be. Confirming this morning, Dan Clancy had a lengthy message back to the community about why this was done and in a sincere apology, I will say, at the very least, I am so glad this is Dan Clancy and not Emmett Shear having to go through these movements with Twitch because he is very forward facing. I think most of the time he's very well worded and he means what he says. I just, I can't see the former Twitch CEO who is a lot less transparent, a lot less communicative, handling this situation as well as Dan hopefully will and will need to, to, to see where the future of Twitch goes. I wanted to send a short note to let you know that we've made the difficult decision to reduce the size of our workforce today. At this point in time, we are focused communicating with our employees and providing them with clarity on how this impacts each of them. We greatly value the employees we're saying goodbye to today as people and professionals are grateful for all their efforts to support all of you. I'm sharing a copy of the email that I sent out to the company this morning to provide more context on the decision. Please know that Twitch remains focused on serving our streamers and ensuring that this is the best place to live stream for many years to come. I know that you have additional questions about this, how it might impact our community. I'll host a stream on Twitch on Thursday, January 11th. Dan. And the email he sent to the company saying, team, today I have some incredibly difficult news to share. As you all know, we have worked hard over the last year to run our business as sustainably as possible. Unfortunately, we still have work to do to right size our company. And I regret having to share that we are taking the painful step to reduce our headcount by just over 500 people across Twitch. This will be a very hard day. I know many of you are wondering why this is happening. Over the last year, we've been working to build a more sustainable business so that Twitch will be here for the long run. And throughout the year, we have cut costs and made many decisions to be more efficient. Unfortunately, despite these efforts, it has become clear that our organization is still meaningfully larger than it needs to be given the size of our business. Last year, we paid out over a billion dollars to streamers. So while the Twitch business remains strong, for some time now, the organization has been sized based upon what we were optimistically expecting our business to be in three or more years, not where we're at today. As with many other companies in the tech space, we are now sizing our organization based upon the current scale of our business and conservative predictions of how we expect to grow in the future. And I think this is a touch of what Dan adds that is actually really cool to see. He adds a bit more emotion and a bit more outside of just the what you would have to send to your company saying, I also want to acknowledge how disappointed I was yesterday that this information leaked. I am sorry for all the anxiety that it caused over the last several hours. Our hope is that you would all hear that from us this morning and very quickly understand how this impacted your role and we were unfortunately not able to accelerate the timeline which i know is very frustrating i want to close with my sincerest apology to everyone who is leaving twitch you are some of the most talented committed and creative people i have ever worked with thank you for everything you've done to help us build twitch and foster our community and again this is a very sad day this is something we have i have almost grown accustomed to seeing all of this and it's why i'm very thankful to to be where i am and very fortunate to 
to to be working just me and hunter uh, somehow have have jobs together working for ourselves uh but greatly appreciate all of you guys now to go over a bit of a timeline of what twitch has gone through over the past year you guys please leave a comment down below some of the biggest twitch news you've seen over the past year most of it probably with some backlash towards Twitch. Despite doing some really good things, I would say multi-streaming is one of the biggest updates of the entire year. You can't forget of what has happened before that. Supposedly around two rounds of layoffs before this third gigantic round. That seems to be a small sliver compared to all of the drama they also had themselves in with the controversial bans. You had all of the hot tub streamer meta drama stretched into this year as well. You had the black bar meta. You have Twitch shutting down in Korea, which I think is some sizable news due to server costs of hosting those streamers um, over there as well. Um, and then you have, of course, the artistic nudity update, which was balked back. You have the 50-50 debate with their streamers that was, you know, kind of given to them uh, with a different model, which I think is still a, a general positive for the platform. And then you have the ad size. Remember that drama that was also rolled back? A lot of rolled back updates from Twitch shortly after realizing that People take advantage of set updates. There's been no short, uh, short term here of of not being involved in drama, and Twitch has certainly found them in it quite some for quite some time. But this year has been ups and downs for Twitch, and and starting off 2024 with this news, it does suck. Like it really does. Last night I really sat down for a second and thought about, okay, if we don't have Twitch for some reason, for some, I, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. I would hope not. But if we don't have Twitch for all these streamers and creators, what happens to the video gaming industry? And my first thought was, it, it, it will suck. Like, people will find other places. Naturally, that's, I think we can adapt and, and figure things out. But Twitch really provides a lot for this ecosystem that it, it gets a lot of backlash for and doesn't get a lot of credit for. I, I love what Twitch has done. You, you got to respect what they have built up, right? And then my second thought was, hopefully it does not die. Hopefully it finds some way to, to last, right? I care about a lot of these streamers. I've met a lot of them and a lot of them are friends as well. But beyond that, I had this dark thought. And maybe this is too, you guys, again, leave your comments down below. The only person and the only company to really, really benefit if Twitch somehow goes away, the big red YouTube, you know? They have VODs, they have short form, they have long form, they have live streaming. Uh, um, if, if Twitch were to go away, kick might benefit a little, but YouTube becomes king. That's That was my second thought. And maybe I was under the influence, maybe I was drinking too much hydration. Uh, but yeah, today is a sad day. It's going to be interesting to see where this industry goes. And for the first time, people are scared for the future of Twitch. Are you guys? Till next time, thank you all for being here. Greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you back here sometime soon. Take care.